Greetings, this is Stephanie Kwame from the Cat Academy and today we are going to put a wall under a staircase. We're going to start with just uh, from the beginning and that way um, you can see how it's constructed. No sleight of hand here, huh? But what we're going to do is we're going to select a wall and we're going to pick a beginning point, come over here, we're going to make it 36 by 36. I'm doing directional input, I just show the direction get my guidelines straight, see my hammer, she's closed. Now let's do a slab. Spacebar does a magic wand, so I put a slab under there. Let's right click and say show this first floor as a trace reference and when I select the second floor I can see this where the first floor is. So now I see that I can just grab my wall, pick the magic wand, select that. I can go to a slab and put a slab in between those two floors and let's see what we have. Let's go over ge uh, to generic pers perspective and see what we have and we definitely have two floors. Now in order for us to see the internal geometry I'm going to have some fun. Let's do a control L and let's go to a wall exterior and make it wireframe. That's what that means and say OK. So now we can see things quite easily. Let's go back to the first floor. Love the navigator. It's so easy to navigate around. We need to put in some stairs and that's where the issue has started. So let's go and select stair. And I think just a good old straight stair is a great one to try. And let's rotate this 90 degrees and uh, we'll say OK. And there's issues about how many risers and um, length of the stair. Whoops, put it in the wrong side no problem though with this program. Let's go to the arrow, meaning that we want to edit, select this, select a grip and move it into position. Okay, now we've got what we want and um, if we go into generic perspective we can see its alignment. We could take out this railing easily with editing if we don't need that, but we do need a hole in that slab. So as a quick reference, let's go to the second floor and let's select the slab and let's find a grip so I can get up my palette of choices. I call it my pal. I want to negative because I want to remove material. And what we're going to do here, we've got to get a whole picture of this. I'm going to pick one corner or select a corner, come on up and over, select another one. And if we look at that, we now have a hole in our slab. It wasn't hard, you just need to know how to edit is what you need to know. Now what we want to do is we want to make a, a wall under the stair for storage. So I want to create a marquee. A marquee selects a smaller viewing screen so you don't have so much to look at. I'm going to do F5 which takes me into a perspective view. And at issue is we want to put in a wall down here for uh, storage. And it's at an angle so it's not that easy to do. Well to do that let's go back to the first floor and let's select a roof. You can't trim a wall by a stair but you can definitely trim it from a roof. So let's double click on roof and change some parameters. I want to start at ground at zero and I'm not sure of the angle yet but I'm going to say OK here. I'm going to say that this is my first, this is my pivot line. Then I'm going to create, this is my pitch, I'm going to create a uh, rectangle and let's take a look at that. Now it needs to be rotated down just a, a bit because it's not quite uh, exactly right and that's no problem with this program either. So let's go ahead and do the arrow for editing, select the roof panel and I believe that this is 8.5 and you can double check that other ways as well. So now we've got the roof panel. I do want to do one more thing. I'm going to select this on the line of the roof, which allows me to extend this side to make it easier to pick at an angle that it was uh, built in. Now we've got that in place. We're ready to go. Let's go back to the first floor, grab our wall, and draw a wall from here down to here. Right click OK because I've got multiple wall on. Let's go to the perspective and look at it. And of course it's on the A wall exterior layer so we can't see it. I got a couple of choices. One of the choices is to edit that wall and change its layer 
or let's just go ahead back to the first floor because it's hard to pick it right now and we'll go to wall again and change the layer that's what I should have done to a wall interior and we're set again sorry about that and there we go okay now this is the issue we want to cut that um, or trim that wall so that we have the space uh, usable for, for storage. So the first thing that we want to do is go to Edit for Arrowing, select this, right click, go to Connect, which is new. Trim to a roof is not. And we're going to select, this is our cutting. And if you read the bottom, it gives you some hints. I want to keep the bottom. And now we have Trim to that roof. I did make a uh, extra layer for by going to new but I didn't change to it unfortunately so I would have would have had a roof and then a roof one and I can still change it to it but then now you don't want to be have to turn off all the roofs so but I'm gonna turn off the roof layer but you would make a f what you would call kind of a phantom layer there to create that and there we go voila so to speak let's go back to the first floor come on baby there we go and we're gonna go to a door let's change the height of this door it's just a little plain door and we'll change it to three feet because this would be a little one of those miniature little storage things where you can put all your Christmas decorations or whatnot and uh, we'll do the ex external opening and we could move it up a little bit too. Let's do a couple more things. Let's say that we want to move that wall. You can definitely move the wall after the fact as well. So I can move that wall. Whoops! Need this tool, huh? It's when those little pals come in handy right there. And we'll move the wall in into this. And of course the door is intelligent so it knows it comes with it. And then let's go ahead and move the door as well. Whoops, it's going to be one way to do the door is I can just go do door and do control A and select it. Whoops, I unselected it somehow. And I want to pick this grip and we want to move it up just a little bit there. I could have given it at an exact distance. But anyway, that gives you an idea of how you can put a um, put a wall under a stair for whatever reason you want but mostly I think it's for storage this was brought to you by Stephanie Kwame I'm with the Cat Academy uh, you, if you have questions you can email me Stephanie at the Cat Academy dot com or the CAD store dot com is the easier one you can uh, check out the Cat Academy by going to the Cat Academy dot com it is an, a pre-engineering pre-architecture program for secondary and post-secondary schools and it's a great one. So take a look at it and see if you would like to implement that in your classroom. Thanks for listening.